Hey guys, welcome back to Fast Fix. In this video, we're going to show you how to withdraw money from KuCoin to card or bank account. So it is actually the same process on your computer or with your mobile phone. So in this case, I'm going to use my laptop to show you how. So once you are on the KuCoin.com website, you need to log in with your account. So make sure that you install the KuCoin app on your mobile. Then you just have to scan the QR code to basically log in with your account. Now before we start, some things that you need to remember that the Qcoin is not actually or it's not primarily a fiat exchange, but it is possible to transfer funds to your bank account. So I will show you this step-by-step -step guide. So the first step here, you need to go to the Assets tab right there at the top right hand corner of your screen beside the orders option and the add fans option so click on the assets and we're going to select on the overview so click on this overview here to show your fonts on your wallet okay so let's have to wait for a few seconds here so here on this page as you can see on your screen then if you click on the popular assets so we have two options, account and popular assets. So here you will see that I'm currently holding on KuCoin. So for example, I will just use this one here and to draw funds to my bank account. So you do remember that any cryptocurrency that you have, the first thing that you need to do is to transfer it to USDT or another stable coin. So as you can see here, for example, if you're going to use the ETZ, the KCS, as you can see here. But what we're going to do here to transfer that to the funding account, go to the account section. So you will find that right from here. So click on the account. And then here, make sure that all of your funds are in funding. So if your fund is on your trading account, you need to transfer this over to funding. So to do that, you just simply click on the trading account and then here select whichever coin you want to transfer. So you just have to find the coin here or select any account here that you want to trade. Okay, go back to the uh, trading account. And once you select here, You'll find an option at the right side of your screen. So basically at the right side, you will find an option which says transfer. So click on this one. And then you just have to go here on this page, funding account to trading account. So you can select again the coin here. So for example, I'm going to select the BTC coin. Okay. And then you just need to enter the amount or just click on the max to put all your funds. So once done here, just click on the confirm button. So once you confirm this one, you will now go back to the overview. And then here you will find that it's no longer in your creating account and it transferred to funding account. Now what I'm going to do now is go to the trade section right there at the top. So go to this trade and then go to convert. And then here on the convert box, basically just need to select the coin here that you want to withdraw. So for example, I'm going to select any of the coins, for example, BTC. And then on the get, you just have to change this to USDT. So you can transfer it to USDT, as you can see right here. And then just simply enter here the amount that you want to convert to USDT. Now, once done here, entering your amount, you just have to click on this confirm button. And then a message pops up on your screen saying that the funds have been transferred to your trading account. Now, once done there, you just need to go back to your assets overview on your account. So right there. And then here you will find that your USDT in your funding account. So this is what you're going to transfer to your bank account. So the next step here that we're going to do is by clicking on the buy crypto tab right there at the top left corner and then click on this 
fast trade. So we're going to click on this fast trade. Then basically you will now go to this page. Buy crypto instantly. But obviously we're not going to buy crypto. So instead we're going to select this sell. So instead of buy, we'll need to select the sell. Then here, choose the amount of USDD that you want to get rid of. So you can click on max to put all of your funds. And then you just have to select here any of the currency that you want. So we have here the uh, US dollars. We have the Australian dollar, Euro we have also here the Philippine Peso and also the GBP. So if you're going to select the USD, you'll find all the payment methods. So if you're going to click on more, you'll find all the payment methods, including the bank transfer. But as you can see here, if you find that it is not available and you don't have an option to withdraw this to your bank account, then you need to go another way to transfer your fund. So as I've said, Qcoin is not actually or meant to be used for fiat. But to withdraw this one, for example, we're going to select another currency. Okay, so we just need to close the select payment method option. And instead of use US dollar, I'm going to select here GBP, right, which is the pound. So same way also here on USD. So you'll need to do here is to click on GBP balance right there. And then once done, click on sell USDT. And then confirm your transaction. A message pops up on your screen saying that your USDT has been sold. Once done, go back to your assets. And then you will find here that you have a fiat currency which is the GBP. Then what you're going to do when you find that GBP or your fiat on your assets, you just need to click on more button at the right side. Then select withdraw. And then select the option to withdraw fiat. Then you can choose to withdraw GBP. Then select bank transfer or faster payment. Then under withdraw information, click add account. Then fill out all the informations and then select the amount you want to withdraw and then click on withdraw. So that's it. That's how you basically withdraw money from Qcoin to card or bank account. So if you find this video helpful, please consider to like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to notify you on the next video.